Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. All right, y'all, we're gonna work with Clyde Hair again today, one of my favorite, favorite companies to work with. Let's look at all the goodies they sit inside the box first. So you all, this is a 24 inch body wave highlight wig, 13 by four. The knots do already come bleached and pre-plucked. The lace is like um, either HD or a very light, thin, transparent Swiss lace. Um, the wig was super full. I love the color. It was everything. Soft out the box, couldn't complain. <laughs> All I did off camera was just shampoo the wig and um, condition it with some silicone mix. I did not bleach the knots. All I did was just pluck it, and that was that. We're here with my girl, Nisha, today. We're gonna use our Ruby Kisses Level 12, the darkest in the palette. We've already put it on her cap, and we're gonna put it on the lace. Spray some freeze spray and blow dry. And then we're gonna start positioning this wig. Now the hairline on this wig does not go all the way down to the sideburn. So what I did was, you know, cut a slit by the ear. You can also do this if a wig is too small for you and you need it to fit your head. Um, That was like only the only con about this wig. The hairline didn't go like all the way down the sideburns. But of course, you know, I know how to make it work, but I just want to let you all know. Other than that, everything else about this wig, perfect, perfect, perfect. So now I'm just gonna sew this unit down. So now we're just applying our glue. I um, apply it in the shape of their hairline. So each client gets a different glue shape <laughs> because I follow their individual hairline. And this is why my wigs look so natural. I don't just apply the glue straight across. I follow like the dips and the curves of their natural hairline. Um, we did, even though I said I did four layers with my hand, we only did like, I think two or three layers today. Um, and making sure that each layer turns clear before we apply the next layer. And we're gonna come back when that last layer is dry right now. As you see, it's clear, it looks like tape. And we're gonna lay that lace down. So now we're gonna blow dry that lace, interchange it between warm and cool air. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-part her off. We're doing a middle part today. And then we're gonna tie her down using our ultimate melt band for 10 minutes. And you can purchase your ultimate melt band from ibhslays.com. Her 10 minutes are up, so now it's time to cut off that excess lace.
And now we're gonna add some more of that darkest uh, makeup shade in the RDF 12 palette again. And y'all, this lace is giving, honey, like. And y'all already know we doing a no baby hair look today again. I'm just really in my no baby hair era, y'all. I just think it looks so much nicer, so much cleaner. Like, I really enjoy not doing baby hairs. I swear, like, I'm just obsessed at this point. Like, it just, it just gives scalp. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all know <laughs> I'm the baby hair slayer, but I just have been feeling the no baby hair look. I really have, like, ugh, I just love it. Like, this is so clean looking. Like, it just gives grown, sexy woman, like, step to me right, period. And with the correct application, your wig is not going anywhere. <laughs> so today, like I already told y'all, we're doing the middle part. So I'm just using my wax stick and my hot comb just to lay everything down. Like, let's get into this color. Like, Clyde hair, they did a big one on this. Like, and it's just matching with her skin, like, perfectly. So now I'm gonna take my Hair Flex hairspray and I'm gonna spray it on my edge brush. And I'm just gonna smooth back the hairs along her hairline. And then I'm gonna spray the lace with that same hairspray. And then we're gonna tie it down with that Ultimate Melt Band. And now we're just pressing her hair out using our Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray. And we're gonna flat iron her hair on 450 degrees using the Chase Method. Let's get into how this body wave wig just pressed out bone straight. This wig was so silky, y'all. Love it. Now it's time to take that elastic band off, y'all. It's giving scalp. No baby hair is needed. The color is giving. Everything about this is just giving, y'all. But we're not done yet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna um, make sure that part is more visible. So I'm just plucking out a few hairs. And then we're gonna take our Ruby Kisses level nine 
um and we're gonna put that in her part to just make it more visible and just you know bring the look together um using a wig that's so closely toned to your skin tone you definitely want to make sure that your part stands out or it can look it still can look wiggy so make sure your part is visible And you want to seal that off with some hairspray. I use my red can even. And we're just going to blow dry that until everything is locked into place. So this is our inspo pick for today. This is Mary J. Blige back in the 90s, I think. She has the highlights with the middle part layers. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we brought all the hair forward and we cut it in a blunt cut. I cut off maybe like three or four inches um, just because we wanted the base of the hairstyle to be thick. And once you do that to both sides, now you're gonna add your layers. To do my layers, I love to use my razor comb. Tinkle is the best brand. But before we do that, I had to take two pieces in the front and um, pull it down to her chin, the bottom of her chin, and cut it. And that'll be our guide to start slicing our layers diagonally. I just pull the hair, see my guide, and start you know slicing diagonally. I use the side with the um, finer teeth, like the, the teeth um, on the comb are closer together, but you can definitely use the side where the teeth are further apart. Just know the side with the teeth further apart is gonna cut more hair and it's gonna do it quickly. So if you're a little scared, use the side with the teeth closer together first. But when you get done cutting, your hair should fall in a diagonal and you will see that shortly. And as you can see, that hair is falling into a diagonal. And we're gonna repeat those same steps on the other side. So now we're gonna like curl her ends kind of sorta with the flat iron. I'm still using my same flat iron and we're just gonna, you know, give the hair. Now with this, you wanna give it a hard bump so you can get like the style. Um, after I did finish this um, showing y'all on camera, I did go back and bump it a little harder just so it can match the other side that I didn't do off camera. But basically you just wanna, you know, flip your wrist with the flat iron and you know, really get that, that curve in the end. Cause that's gonna give you like that. It's gonna really like bring out those layers because if you let it just be like straight down, it could be a very, you know, edgy different look. And that may not be what you wanna go for. So make sure you kind of bump that thing hard. <laughs> give it the grandma bump today, okay? <laughs> And this is the final look, y'all. I did go ahead and bump that left side a little bit more off camera. But let's get into this recap. Once again, I want to thank Kai Hair for sending me this beautiful wig. Make sure you check the description box below for information on how to purchase and get money off. I thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.